Yo, 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 yo. What up, guys? What to do, what to do, what to do. Let's go. Let's grow, baby. Shout out to my boy TR. And shout out to Blood X. And every other awesome community out there that helps people grow. Now, this is another product unboxing and review combo video of another Keurig coffee machine. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, and I'm speaking to my new followers as well as my old ones that have been following me the last two plus years, you'll notice that I did another, uh, it, it was an actual review, not an unboxing, but it was an actual review of my other Keurig, and it wasn't mine, I don't own it. Just like I don't own this one, I didn't pay for it, but I'll get to that in a sec. Uh, it was another Keurig coffee machine, but it was a different model, it was an older one. If you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out, right? Now this is the newest one, we just got it today as this video is being put out, as you see it right now, okay? And this is obviously a more upgraded model. It's a better model, and I'm gonna get to all of that right now. And also I want to address that I did take the chance to actually review it a bit. So like I said, this is gonna be a combo video and unboxing and review. Because I wasn't the one that opened the box, okay? It was somebody else in my family, one specific individual, and I'm not going to name who and tell you the gender and all that. Nobody needs to know that because of, you know, the stuff that goes on on YouTube at times, guys, all right? But it's already been unboxed, and uh, I read some of the instructions and, you know, got the hang of it here and there. It's fairly easy to use, and on a scale of 1 to 10, I, I think it's at least an 8.7 to a 9.0 solid. Okay, but let's just say 8.7. All right, ease of use, looks fantastic, looks great. Made out of, uh, it's, it's, it's got that steel feeling to it, but it's also made with plastic too, okay? It's like the other one, but just a, just a slightly bit more upgraded, okay? It's a better model for sure, it's newer. All right, I don't remember what the old one was. I don't know the exact model of it, but we actually exchanged it um, and basically returned and got our money back for it, not me, but we as in someone else in my family, went to Costco where you can actually purchase it from right now on coupon deal for about 108 bucks. But basically we had it changed out because we had kept the receipt for the older one and we basically swapped it for this one, okay? Using the coupon code. Now originally the price, the retail price on this one is 124.99, so 125 plus tax from Costco specifically. But uh, you can check it out on Amazon. You could check it out anywhere else, like uh, possibly Walmart or Target and see if they have Fry's Electronics. Okay, but I'll say safest bet. I, I would say and assume that the safest bet is to go to Costco instead of anywhere else, okay? Because it's, it's at a good deal right now. So fairly cheap, but not the cheapest. And this thing, guys, it's amazing. It, it, it's, it truly is, okay? And I'm gonna tell you why. Now, we did have to prime it and, uh, you know, put some water in it and just basically get all the crap out of all the dirt and whatever is in there because it's brand new. We just got into it, like I said. And, uh, you know, get the system working, you know, get, get it, uh, just, just get it emptied and get it cleaned out, basically, okay? Get it primed. It's called priming, basically, okay? And uh, if you haven't seen Unbox Therapy, he does the same thing with this awesome Keurig machine that actually makes soda as well. Now, what I want to get to is that this one actually makes iced coffee, legit iced coffee, which the other one did not. And that's just fascinating, I love that, guys. So what you see here is the box, okay? Now, it's got some cardboard in there, all right? From the packaging from when we took it out earlier. And there's really nothing else in there but just cardboard, okay, as you can tell. All right, just two layers of it. I'm assuming two layers. And this is the box, okay? So the top of it, it says Keurig K Elite, okay? So it's the Elite. And it's a single serve coffee maker, okay? On the top, you have some more information right here. Let me turn it for you guys. Some more Keurig branding. And that's what the coffee maker looks like, okay? I don't want to cast a shadow on the box, but that's what it looks like. It's awesome, guys. And like I said, it basically consists of a hard plastic. I don't know what kind of plastic composite. Uh, plastic and, and stainless steel, from what I feel on it. Stainless steel and plastic, okay? It's a lot more durable than the other one, right? Before we get to that, I'm gonna show you the box. 
You have the option to strong brew, which you can basically brew a stronger, more intense cup. You have the option now to make iced coffee, unlike the previous model that we've had and owned for a while. You can brew hot, enjoy cold, and uh, fully flavored and delicious coffee, okay? It also says here five cup sizes, so you get four, six, eight, 10, and 12 ounce. The reservoir can hold up to 75 ounces of water, and it's a removable reservoir. And uh, there's a one minute brew time for fresh brewed coffee, okay? So that's the top of it. Now this is the, uh, the front right hand side of it right here. The K Elite C includes, so that's the model K Elite C, that includes 15 K cup pods, plus a water filter handle and a My K cup, reusable coffee filter, okay? So there you go. On the bottom, well left to right you'll see this. This is what it looks like, Keurig. As you can see here, Keurig branding. Okay, that's the top of it. It's got a clock and all that good stuff. That's basically what it looks like, okay? There it is once again, it says the same stuff basically. At the bottom you got a barcode. Bottom right hand side, Keurig Green Mountain Incorporated, 33 Coffee Lane Water Brewery, VT05676, that's the address. It's made in China, all right, like most things. Now this is the front of it. Awesome presentation. Presentation wise, it's phenomenal. I, I love the box art. I, I, I love the presentation, hands down. The, the box, the, uh, the diagrams, the pictures, basically every, everything is solid. It's a go, you know what I mean? Presentation, great, wonderful. All right, and at the bottom there you got the color which is brushed silver. Now I don't know what other color it comes in, but you guys can consult with the website. You know, go to Google Images, uh, just type it in the Google bar or you know, search, search the information on the actual website itself and I'll try to find it for you guys here on the box. Brewing America's leading coffee brands, okay? So basically you get these kind of K-cups with it, the leading coffee brands. You get a Starbucks flavored coffee, which is really cool, Kirkland Bold. You get Newman's, Own Organic, Tully's, Pete's, Coffee. You got another brand that I've, that I haven't heard of. Uh, what is it called? Don't know exactly what that says. It looks like it's in cursive. And then you get Green Mountain Coffee Roasters. Okay, and then Dunkin' Donuts. Basically, donut shop. Okay. Now I've already showed you, well, I haven't showed you this side. So here's the front left side of the box. Okay, I'll lift it up a little bit. Looks like a nice marble counter in the background. It just shows you what it looks like in a kitchen. Okay, just like what we got right now. All right, and that's about it for the box art. All right, now this is the back of it. Okay, let me tilt it upwards for you guys. Sorry, it's busted up at the top left-hand corner. I didn't do that. And it says, coffee house taste in your own home, the perfect cup every time. And that's true because <laughs> I will tell you why in the review portion of this video, okay? I'm not going to take too long with the unboxing. I'm just showing you basically half of the unboxing. I'm going to show you the other half as the review. All right. So you get freshly ground coffee from the leading coffee brands filled in our K-cup pods. Is just telling you. Hot water saturates the freshly ground beans. And flows through the paper filter. Gentle pressure extracts every ounce of rich, full flavored coffee. And this thing's amazing, guys. I'm telling you, go pick one up. Go pick one up. Don't even think about it. Buy one. It's phenomenal. And I'll tell you why. I'll get to that here shortly. Like I said, basically what you get in the box is you get this little brochure or pamphlet. Okay. Just some extra information from Keurig. If you have any questions, like I tell you guys, all right, or concerns about your Keurig brewer, please call, and then there's a customer service number right there. All right, 1-866-901-BREW, which is 2739. Prior to contacting your local Costco warehouse, we are here to help and look forward to answering your questions or addressing your concerns. Coffee house taste in your own home. Basically shows you what it looks like, and it's awesome, guys. I mean, it, it comes with included, for $125, uh, you get it for $108 bucks to 110 bucks with a coupon, but... For twenty to twenty-five dollars off, you get all this stuff, guys. I mean, even for one hundred twenty-five bucks, if you got on a regular sale, it's still a good deal because you get twelve K cups, 
Uh, well, I'll show. I'll get to you. I'll get to that in a second. Give me a second. In closing, we'll find the following. Okay, the coffee maker K cup. So it's basically just telling you uh, what you're getting inside the box. Okay, 15 K cup pods and a water filter. Includes water filter handle, uh, water filter handle, and one charcoal filter. Thank you for purchasing the Curie K Elite C coffee maker at Costco. It is our hope that these additional materials will ensure your ability to brew the perfect cup every time. Then it tells you everything right here. Set up and brewing instructions can be found in your quick start guide. Remember to register your brewer. Okay, make sure you guys register here at www.keurig.com slash new. For instructional videos and other helpful tips, visit support.keurig.com. If you have questions or experience any problems with your brewer, please contact Keurig Customer Service at 1-866-901-BREW or visit support.keurig.com without the www. I'm assuming. Visit Costco.com for more Keurig K-Cups and pod varieties. Decaf, light, medium, and dark roasts are the options and they're available, according to the pamphlet. There's nothing on the back of this pamphlet. You also get one of the main instruction booklets. Cut it out. Thank you. Okay, this is the back of it before you brew. So this is telling you the setup, okay? Nice little instruction booklet too, guys. Awesome. Okay, this is the, uh, the baggie that the instruction book came in. This is the tape that actually sits around the actual coffee maker when it's in the box, contained in the box when you first unbox it. Okay, cool looking tape's got, you know, silver line designs on it. I don't know what kind of tape it is. I don't know if it's scotch. I can't say, but it's cool. Nice little simple instruction manual. Okay. Gives you a warning. Okay, and it opens up simply like this. I got part of it on the stove, my bad guys, okay? And um, there's the other side of it. Okay, I believe the other side is in Spanish or in another language. Sorry guys, anyways, it's flimsy. But anyways, you guys get the picture, okay? You're gonna get an instruction booklet. It's gonna tell you how to brew, how to prime. Before you brew, guys, you have to prime this thing, just clean it out, okay? Just in case so you don't get sick. It also comes with this postcard looking card, mailing card, okay? All right, follow that to the side, Flossy Carter style. Uh, you know, he normally goes like this. How's he do it? And then he throws it. Flossy Carter win. All right, shout out to Floss, man. He's one of my favorites when it comes to tech unboxings and reviews. Keurig, and then you get some more instructions in here. Let me take it out of the baggie, all right. And this is for the side reservoir. It's instructions specifically for the reservoir on the side, okay? And it is removable to clean and all that, all right? I'm not gonna remove, I'm not gonna remove it right now, guys, because it's got water in it, unfortunately, right? So I do apologize. Some helpful hints and uh, in another language, basically. Okay, pause and read for yourselves. All right, then you get two other little miniature instruction booklets. One for the older uh, Plus Series Brewers, which is the older one that we had that we returned. That's what it looks like. That's what our older one basically looked like. I had a single button towards the bottom here. It was shaped differently though. It was kind of like that oval shaped. This one's got kind of like a, you know, smooth groove, but it's smoothed out like this, but it sits higher and all the, uh, the options, instead of being right here, they're basically right here on the top, okay? Like I said, you get a filter, okay? For use with Cure Classic or Plus Series Brewers. This came with it, but the filter's not actually in there. It's in this cup, we have to clean it out, so. That's what it looks like. It's almost rectangular shaped, but it's got this oval shape to it. You know, I don't know how to explain it, but we're getting it clean, I'm not gonna take it out of there. So you get that in this little baggie. You get the My K-Cup filter. This is, I believe, in, I don't know the language that's in. I think it's in French or Spanish. One of the two, but you get this. You know, the My K-Cup universal reusable coffee filter, which brews ground coffee, and it's optimized for all cup sizes. All right, and this is it right here. There's the new design. It shows you right here how to unlock and lock. All right, basically sits with the arrow facing this way. So clockwise, I believe, to unlock an encounter to lock it. I may be wrong, hope not. Warning, very hot guys, always 
adhere to the warnings, please. Be safe with any product. Okay, so you get that. You get your instructions. You get an extra container of K-Cups, three K-Cup pods, Pacific Bold and another flavor, breakfast blend. I already used one of them, so there's only two in here. Then you get an additional, hey, cut it out. You get an additional 12 K-Cup pods uh, box full of more K-Cups, which are just quick on the go. You just open this thing and then just slam it down and there's like a little, uh, like a little pointy, uh, a little pointy knife looking thing on the inside here. It's like a, like a prong and it pokes the K-Cups and that uh, allows all the water to get in there and drain the K-Cup into your cup, into your actual cup that you're gonna be drinking with. Okay, trying to explain myself to the best of my ability to you guys in this video and not sound stupid. All right, so forgive me. Now this is the actual coffee maker itself. Once again, Keurig branding. This is the review portion now. Got another like four to five minutes. Power button on the top middle, uh, corn, on the top middle of the uh, menu. You got your settings, okay? Anytime you see like a pinion or a spur gear looking symbol, that basically means settings. You got up down for sizes uh, to adjust the clock. And uh, the clock was adjusted, I didn't adjust it. It's currently 627, there's a moon right above the number seven. All right, being that it's evening time, PM, and that's cool. Nice little added touch from Keurig. You get um, the indicators with the lights right here. Well, I don't think those are lights, no, they're little buttons. To add water and to descale, you get strong, hot water. These are all the options right here. Iced to ice your coffee. Then you get your sizes from the smallest cup, okay, to the biggest. All right, so this thing is amazing. All right, you can fill ice. This is for iced coffee. It's a sticker, okay, it's removable, of course, but I'm not gonna remove it right now. I'm still getting used to it. Okay, I'm gonna demo it for you guys and show you guys how I make coffee with it. All right, that's just the brew iced coffee. Easy iced coffee, full flavored and delicious. It tells you how to actually brew iced coffee, that's cool. Like I said, stainless steel and plastic here, but this is more like stainless steel. This is stainless steel, plastic on the side right here. So it's made out of some cheaper plastic, but also out of stainless steel. This is the tray, it's removable. That's what it looks like here. Okay, and then it simply slides in like this, voila. This is easily uh, detachable. Like I said, you just pull away from it. And this is to simply clean. Okay, this actually does come off. All right, my bad guys. Okay, it's clean. Like I said, because it's brand new, pretty much. Got a little coffee stain on it right there, but that's not a big deal. Okay, there's a lot of glare. You probably can't see it, but I do apologize once again. Okay, so once again, it simply slides in in a second. Oh, you got some Keurig branding right there with the letter K. Iconic Keurig branding symbol, okay. All right, like I said, two extra instruction booklets, one for the older brewers, okay. And it shows you the filter at the back and the lid and everything, filter basket and the filter holder, plus the adapter, okay. Then with this one, similar. Now this is for the new updated Keurigs like this one, okay, obviously because it looks like this one. If you look, the button layout and stuff. Then you got another thinner one with a different design. I don't know what model that is, the one to the right. That's not the one that's currently here displayed. Okay, and then right here, same thing. A little diagram on the back. It's not in color, it's just black and white. Apologize, folks. I didn't know it was going to be like that. Once again, I don't own this. It's not mine. But I do know the price and where you can get it. Costco for $124.99 on regular sale. About $107.99 to $108.99 on sale with a coupon booklet, okay? If you are a Costco member with a member's card. Alrighty, here's the K-Cup box on the top. These are our dishes. Once again, this is in the kitchen. You get a total of 12 in here, but uh, there's, I think, a 10 or 11 in here now because uh, someone else was using one of these K-Pods and I used the one from that box. Okay, so we each used one. So we used two total. That's what it looks like. Here's the other side of it. Our gift to you, a taste of cured variety. Okay, pause and read, pause and read all of this for yourself, guys, okay? I wanna kind of rush through the video at this point in time because I don't want it to be 25 to half an hour long. Okay, 
These don't expire until 2020, so drink up, folks. Drink up, drink up. Party it up. By the way, shout out to Agnes, more eats. Enjoy your cake of pot samples inside, and these are all of them right here, guys. Okay? These are all the special blends. All right, here's the bottom of it. Here's the other side right here. Contains only one K-Cup pod per variety, okay? Makes sense, I understand why. Money and all that, trying to save money. I'm assuming, I could be wrong. Okay, pause and read this. All right, and that's about it, guys. Now I'm gonna make a cup of coffee real quick and you're gonna see how it works. I'm gonna use this Starbucks cup, which I also did not purchase. It's not mine, but I use it to drink coffee on a regular basis. Uh, actually, guys, well, you know, yeah, I can use one of these K-Cups. Let me use one, just a demo. I'm assuming it's on because I saw the clock. Right, I'll use the house blend, okay? So you simply put it in. See that little pointy edge right there? It's like a knife, it's like a, uh, like a spear. Kind of shaped like a little miniature spear. Now it sits in just like this. You drop it down. And once you do that, uh, hot water. I'm still getting used to it, guys. Give me a second. It may not be turned on. Give me a second. Should be turned on. That's the plug. Give me a second. Okay. Sorry guys, don't mean to be a pain in the butt, but like you see right here, it pokes it right here, it puts a hole. Basically the water goes down in there, mixes up, and then it comes out through the bottom of the K-cup. Spills out the coffee through that little tiny hole that it pokes at the bottom, okay? Assuming I just select my cup, so there you go. Uh, let's see. For some reason it's not working. Anyways, okay, I don't want to mess with the settings. It says temperature off, on. Okay, oh, power, duh. Now the power, when you push the power button, it's a green light, okay? A solid green light is emitted. I'm a dummy, sorry guys, forgot to do that. Uh, so make sure you do that first before you put in a K, uh, a K pod or, you know, just a regular filter. Okay, and it's in here. All right. Now this is the sound it makes. You do get a light. I believe it's a solid blue light being emitted from here when you need to fill up the filter. Sometimes it lights up at night too. I'm sure it's going to light up. We'll see. This video may end up being 25 minutes, guys, so I do apologize. 25 to 26 minutes long. But it's worth it. I feel that it's worth it, personally. Now, once again, you can also get this coffee maker in a different color, but we got in the silver, brushed silver, I believe it said. If I can remember correctly, okay, once again, Keurig branding. Nice, smooth surface. Okay, so we're gonna lift up again. We're gonna shut it. And then a, a navy blue color to light blue colored light is being emitted, you know, somewhat fast, but pretty slow still. And the light is off on the side. Basically, you choose your cup option, which is this one right here. I'm using the big Starbucks cup, so you hit that, and boom, that's it. Then you can select hot water or strong, but I think that's when it comes to iced coffee. I'm still getting used to it, but once again, we don't want to take the sticker off. We want to keep it here because you know, we want to get used to it a little bit more. All right, pour coffee. All right, and it pours coffee at a, you know, at a pretty rapid rate. You know what I mean? It's pretty quick. It's fast for what it is, all right? Then you have a little, uh, Tab right here where you basically lift up and the entire thing is removable, okay? To fill up uh, to fill up water in the reservoir right here on the side. On the side, that is. Okay, there's the handle right there that they're showing on the box and talking about. Okay, my coffee's done. 
right? And the other side, it doesn't lift off. It's, you know, it's stainless steel right here. This looks like stainless steel, but it's plastic, right? Plastic reservoir right here, clear, see-through, translucent, okay? Feels like stainless steel right here too, okay? So some parts of it is plastic, but it's durable, you know? It's, it's just a material thing, guys. I mean, it's not going to be completely made out of stainless steel unless it's Unless it's something else that doesn't relate to, you know, making coffee or eating, you know what I mean? So, anyways, that's about it. All right, guys, excuse my nonsense. And coffee's ready, so I'm going to put creamer in, maybe put some sugar in. We actually got some coffee mate, so I'm going to use coffee mate. If you guys enjoyed this uh, unboxing review combo video, please drop a like, share it with your folks. Uh, shout out to the Iron Creator community, James Cox. Shout out to Blood Egg. Shout out to More Eats. Shout out to TR. Shout out to everybody who's supporting me, who shows me their love. I hope you guys continue to show me your love. And uh, I will do the same for you. Return it and, uh, in the process. And that's about it, guys. This other this tea kettle thing doesn't have anything to do with this unboxing review, okay? No, don't worry about it. It's just for looks. That was there already before we even got the machine today. This coffee machine. Like I said, this thing's amazing, guys. It's currently 6.37 my time at night. And uh, this is everything that you get, basically, with the instructions. I know it's kind of messy now. I moved things around. But other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I will be back to you guys again with more unboxings and review videos. So stick around for more tech videos. All right, guys. Give this a big like or dislike. I was going to say peace, but give it a dislike if you don't like this. And if you're a troll and you hate my channel, all right, I don't mind, whatever. It's part of being a YouTuber. Show your love, guys, to those that follow me. Hit me up. Much love to you guys, all right? GBT is out until the next video. Take care. All right, guys? Fist bump. Well, <laughs> all right, guys. Take care. Much love, y'all. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it really was informative as well. All right? I'm going to drink my coffee. I salute you guys wherever you are, Louis Marco style. All right, guys? Take care. I like to reference people at times, all right? Take care, y'all.